move a stone, you can move a key You can move a pound or two, you can move some speed You can move some X, you can move some shroom T You can move anything, you get your hands on G You can move some Hario, uh-oh, here we go Uh-oh, there they go, uh-oh, here we go Yeah, we on the run again Hit a full Marshberg remix, go to the top line of the description box Tell them old guy sent you Fat Joe jumped on his Instagram live to address Dr. Umar talking about how he doesn't think that hip hop did anything for black and Hispanic people. I'm going to play what Joe said and stick around after he gives his soliloquy. And then I'm going to give my thoughts on this. Without further ado, here's Fat Joe. Hit the thumbs up button real quick. Brother of mine is by the name of Dr. Umar from Philadelphia. Who I don't just like him, I love his point of views. Uh, he said, "Yo, Joey Crack," and he I was getting at him, right? Because he said hip hop hasn't done nothing for the community, and now that's where we differ. Now, are we organized to where we have a union? Are we organized to where we have hip hop's children's hospital? Are we are no? And this game has always been every man and every woman for themselves. It's always been every man, every woman for themselves, but we represent hip hop culture. And so individually I was bringing, I was breaking down, Dr. Dre gave 70 million to a college. Uh, Puff Daddy chartered schools, Pitbull chartered schools. I mean, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly giving back to my community. Now, some people say, yo, why are you giving out turkeys and food? How about most of them people didn't have turkeys and food for Thanksgiving, and I was able to give thousands of people. Or when last year, the brothers in the Bronx, the Muslim African brothers, they lost 17 people in the fire. We raised $2 million. Or when my aunt, my, um, 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 Maria in, in Puerto Rico, we sent a million pounds of women's hygiene. And I'm just one guy. I'm not Swiss Beats who's a positive brother, who's broken bread with everybody's taking care of the community. I'm not uh, Rick Ross who gives back. I'm not everybody gives back. Everybody gives back. Everybody does what they can individually, right? And I'm not arguing with him where he says, hey, we say gangster shit, this and that, but we're not to be people's parents of their kids. Music is entertainment. Tonight, I am going to watch with my family uh, Tracy Ellis Ross and Eddie Murphy's Christmas movie because I want to watch that tonight. Last night, I watched John Wick shoot 10 million people. Now, am I supposed to... Re so you, one thing you got to realize, guys, is because the rappers is a black in Spanish face, they got to be real. They really got to shoot the people in the song. They really got to kill the hood. They really got to... It's a gangster flick on music. And so, this is what's been taught to me down and down and down. And I tell brother Dr. Umar, uh, I got nothing but respect and love for you. I agree with about 90% of the shit you say. I follow you and I love you. Joe what, what, Joe, what we did, what had been done at that, we'll still touch on that. And this is from the general himself. That's D for the Rough Riders. D for the Rough Riders, you know how many jobs we given, how many things, just us. At the end of the day, what I explained to you, I'm just a kid from the projects. I'm just a kid from Apartment 5 e that made something of myself to try my best every little inch I can to help the community, whether it's open up businesses in my store. Most guys get money, they run away from the hood. I don't. I open businesses in my store. Single parent mothers are the managers in my store. Black and brown. <laughs> you know, I got a classroom in my store that after school, kids come and they learn computers. They learn to be entrepreneurs and they leave with, with computers and they get fed. But that's just me. There's a million guys in hip hop. Jay-Z, yesterday I went to the Justice Reform, the UJC. You telling me that's not hip hop? 
where he got the mothers of children that have been killed by cops. He got judges. He got presidents. Everybody trying to make the criminal justice system better and try to bring our people home. This is from Jay-Z. Hip hop. And so that's the only argument I got where we say, oh, hip hop hasn't done nothing. Hip hop is against the people. This I disagree. You know, and it's my right to disagree. But somebody please tell Dr. Umar that I love him. And I agree with him with pretty much everything, except for 10%, because he go hard, hard. I can't go that hard. Now, you got to understand, I say this out of love. If y'all ready for this one, put the fire sign. All right, I agree with Fat Joe on this, because he, what he's pretty much saying is like, nah, it's not as organized as it should be, but the people that have, you know, had proceeds from hip hop, the artists, some execs, producers, managers, whatever, did, you know, funnel their money back into different communities. He talks about itself. And, you know, it's, it's it's not that we asking these rappers to give us, you know, 30% like you got to get an IRS. Nah, you just want them, you know, if they come from a t particular community, you know, they, they were birthed out of that community. That neighborhood raised them as, as a whole. Elders took care of them because that's the community that we came from. We came from a community where elders took care of of the children. If you was outside, me, your parent was around, it was somebody watching, making sure that nothing happened. That's the community that I come from. It could be 10, 15 of us out there. Somebody's watching, and somebody went down, somebody got hurt. Somebody else's parent, grandparent, brother, sister was there. We was all a community, you know? Now, I get it. When people dip off and they, you know, don't do anything, I think it's foul. But all we saying is to the artists and the managers and the executives, you know, give back to that community. Maybe you go volunteer and do something. Maybe you do a drive or, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever you feels on your heart to do, right? So, again, you have to ask yourself, what did you do for the community with the money you got, right? Besides throw a block party. See, this all comes back on yourself. When you sit down, you ask somebody like Fat Joe, he can tell you the things that he did. When you ask people, even like a Jim Jones or a Meek Mill, they could tell you the things that they did, even though we still have reservations about their lyrics and stuff like that, whatever. But if you're giving back, if you're doing something, my hands go up. I'm, I salute you. I salute you. So I agree with Fat Joe, and hopefully I made a little bit clearer of what he was actually trying to say in rebutting Umar. And he said he, it was all love for Umar, and it's that he agrees with 90% of the stuff that he says. And, and me too. I, you know, I agree. I don't know if the percentage is going to be 90, but a large percentage of the stuff that he says is real talk. Real talk. There's nothing you can, you know, say. You know, some of the stuff I think goes kind of out of bounds, way too far, way too, you know, um, extreme, as you would say. But some stuff is like, yo, that's just real talk. And it's, I can agree with, you know, a person from another race when they say certain things. or So it's not race specific. It's just like if it's real talk, it's real talk. So, yeah. What do y'all think in the comments, though, below? Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I really appreciate y'all listening in and hear what I had to say. Hit the thumbs up button. And, um, yeah, man, we rocking. We rocking. You know, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribe, right, double check and make sure the notification bell is on. Make sure the notification bell is on. That way, as soon as we drop an interview or video, you will get um, that alert on your phone, your tablet, your TV. And shout out to the people watching on TV. We get a lot of people now watching on TV. Shout out to you. I'm in the middle of watching Georgia Alabama game right now. Uh, Alabama's up 27-24, 252, and Georgia just kicked it off. So my bad if I'm a little bit away from this. But nevertheless, I appreciate y'all. Hit the like button on the way out. Peace.